So again, we've, we've showed you Upa, we've showed you Elmo Me, um, showed you the wedge, showed you how to escape the deep half guard, which nobody really got, but you, oh. will, you will get better at it. Stop blowing, car. Okay, so from here, again, sometimes if car is playing Mart, uh, I notice some of you guys are doing this too, he's not, uh, he's not playing Mart um, where he's on my hips, he'll put his hands on his mat, he's got low bound and he's got a scrape vine in or his hooks in and he's putting weight on me like this so it's kind of hard to do some of those escapes but the main detail you need to realise is to sit up again um, we'll look at that in a minute, just play normal mount if he hasn't got his knees pinched here and there's space I want to go for this escape because okay, nicknamed the fighter pilot escape kind of pilot ejecting from the plane but from here, same detail um, like all our escapes I make Carl's um, knees light by getting his hands on the mat I get my grips. For this one, I like the hand on the belt because it just gives me a wee bit more grip here. Okay, my my left hand. I grab the pants, so I get my elbow one side. Okay. Now, if I try to shrimp and hip escape um, like we normally do, uh, just try this up. My right hip, when I hip escape, is going into Carl's left leg. So from here, if I do this, nothing's really happening. See that? Because it's running into his left leg. So all I want to do is, I'm going to bring my head this way, okay, as far to my left as I can, which changes the trajectory of my hips. So instead of them going to my right, they're coming straight back like this. And the only reason I, cre I got this space is because Carl wasn't pinching his knees. From here, I'm just turning to face him. And again, this position where um, I have my knees inside of Carl's, it's called butterfly guard. Um, I'm not just doing that move yet. So from here, let's just say he's not <coughs> passing. Okay, I'm going to sit up. Again, um, we're going to hit um, the most high percentage sweep from the butterfly guard, which is the butterfly um, guard sweep. Um, again, there's lots of different grips, but the, the better grip is over under control. So my right hand is, is winning the, the overhook on this side. My left hand is controlling the, the tricep. I put my um, I put my head to the side of the arm that I'm controlling. Again, I want to make sure that I'm controlling um, just uh, <coughs> above the elbow and the tricep. Because from here, if I'm controlling high and I sweep car, he can post with his hand. Okay? <coughs> so I bring my hand back, so I'm really hugging this. Okay? And just like we did in the solo drill, I do three things. I fold my foot. Okay? I fall to my side as I lift my foot. Instead of going to mount, I'm dropping into modified scarf or broken scarf hose. From here, my butt is off the mat. And then, if you're not familiar with this position, I'm going to kill this arm in transition. Win the cross face, and now I'm in side control. Yeah. Cards in the mount. Okay, maybe he's playing low mount this time with his hooks in. Okay, so it's in your position. Yeah. So when he's playing this position, which some of you guys are playing, when he has his grapevine in, okay, his, his knees are wide, which is ideal for this sweep. So from here, I get the grip inside the belt, my elbow's inside, okay, to get rid of his hooks, I just straighten my legs. Hooks in again. I straighten my legs, straight out, and then from here, I'm getting perpendicular, so I'm on my side. Now I curl my head, okay, which allows me then to boost my hips back. So I'm into um, butterfly guard. Now again, in reality, car is going to be pinning my, pinning my back to the mat. I can't play a butterfly guard from here because um, I can't move because my back is following the mat. And he'll be looking to do his pass from there. But any pass? Any pass. Okay. Just back to there. So the second I get to here, I'm swimming to get inside control. So my hands are gripping under his um, Armpits, I bring my knees towards my chest, and forward. Okay, so I'm here. Again, I want to stay head to head, ear to ear. My right hand, see the way when it was when he grabbed under his armpits and I kicked him forward? I already had that overhook, okay? I get the grip on, on my on the elbow, <laughs> but I bring my head to the same side as my arm, okay? So again, the, the sweep is more powerful when I go laterally. People have a tendency. Okay, to fall backwards. And if I fall backwards and pull him back this way, I will get the mount. Okay, but it's not as powerful a sweep. So when I get to here, and I, I fold my foot, I fall onto my side, I want to go laterally. 
So as I kick him, this is a more powerful stroke. I can drop in the broken scar. Okay. Win that cross face, even I'm killing that arm. I'm dropping the side control. <coughs> so, playing mine, maybe he's got a sweep in already. I'm feeding my grip <coughs> into the belt. Okay, elbow inside. I can bump my hips to get perpendicular. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to move my head out as far towards my knee as I can. If he's still got his grapevines in, I kick my legs forward to remove them. Okay, then I'm going to shrimp my hips out. Okay, see if I'm on my side, already I'm straightening my body. Butterfly guard, okay? Swim inside, get my hands under the armpits. Knees towards my chest, so I'm like a ball, and then I just kick and forward. Okay? Already winning this grip, the overhook, which is the hard grip. This gives me a lot of control with the car because I can make a connection to him. Okay? So I fold, so my left foot comes inside just like a solo drill. I fall as I lift. Dropping the broken scarf, okay. As I kill this arm, my left hand is hugging the head. See where his arms already killed. And then from here, side control. The solo drill for that was what, what we did in the warm up, which is a really good way of drilling it. So I keep my hands T Rex, okay. I pick a side, okay, so I can tuck my foot in as I fall. <coughs> keep up. As I fall, I kick up, so I'm folding, falling, and lifting. So when I get to this position, I've only got my foot, my shoulder, and my ear on the mat, and my hands stay T-Rex. Because when I do this, the sweep with a partner, I'll be using my hands as grips. Okay, one more variation of that is, um, sometimes when I get to here, or uh, just put me the mat again. <coughs> and I swim inside, can I kick him forward? And I get to here, we're maybe going to be hand fighting from here. I'm looking to win this um, grip, and Carl's um, using his hands to stop me from winning this grip. So sometimes, if I can't get that, I can surprise him and just get the gi here on this. Okay, it's not as good a control because I'm not connected to him like I would like to be, and I'm further away. And if that's the case, then I am going to move back <coughs> this way, and I will get the mount. Okay. I, I prefer the first variation, um, if it's no gi, and I haven't actually got the gi, I can just, from a single neck tie position, okay. I, I need to make sure his weight is on me, by the way. If Carl's backing away, I'm not going to go for this sweep, it's not going to happen. So I've got to make sure his weight is coming on to me. Fold, fall. <coughs> my side control. Okay, so let's do it for five, yeah.